I've just totally stripped this turbine down. Just listen to the bearings. No, there's no trick. Imagine that spinning fast. You see the wobble on the shaft. Look at the rust. That's Missouri Wind and Solar Stator. So I have to replace it with a new stator. Look at the size of the cables. Focus on it, but I'll show Missouri's. And their, their beautiful connection at the end. So I'm going to put this stator back in here in the housing and try and put these these magnets back in back in there so you can get this Missouri up to Thermodyne standards A nice little rusty magnet You know you're getting quality products when the magnets even rust. Magnets installed. The right just have to change that bearing, but I'm not gonna bother. So I'll put this stator in and see how we go from there. Nice new stator. And guess who buys Termodyne? Send me another quality product to fix a piece of dirt. So we're finished now. Listen. This is no trick now, look. Three cables. See them? There's nothing in there. There's all bits of well, shite now. People put in there like bits of metal and stuff. Well, I'm not pulling it back up the stair to show you, but look. Hear that? Three cables. And that's with a new stator core. A new stator, sorry. And listen to that. How the hell can someone sell something like that? Put a meter on it when I put it back together and I show you even with my hand what's like. 
Now you see what's it like. Ah, oh, no, it's too hard to pull back out. So I just want to show you guys the magnetic flux being lost in this stator core with their design from Missouri Wind and Solar. Here's Thermodynes. Watch this, it's like a pendulum. See? There's no magnetic flux lost through the casing. Now watch when you hit Missouri's. Look, watch, it's like a pendulum. That's how much it's losing to its core. What? It would actually hang there, I'd say. Yeah, look. Not even holding it. Great design. Thermodynes. Look. Nothing. No swing look. Watch the our Missouri's. Look, it's even up here, look. In aluminium. Yeah. So that shows how inefficient it is. Now for the big test. I have this wired here is a contact a switch into this contactor here so now you energize this this contact will come in through here and energize and come up here into my battery bank over here and it's the same here for thermodynes i flip this switch and turn this one off so a thermodyne gets its on so uh, uh missouri's is off so i'm going to try thermodynes now so i'll turn thermodynes on and this is the meter reading No, I'll show you it live so you know there's no cheating going on. I can't hold the meter. Hold up, no. Oh, that didn't really work out. Alright, I'm going to turn it over here. He's jumping out. They get no idea. See, it's touching ten amps there. So I get. I don't know why he keeps jumping. Well, you can see it working anyway. No. That's what I was doing. Right? It's not spinning great, right, but I think the treading is, is shot on the top of this. So we'll turn off Thermodynes, turn on Missouri's masterpiece. Absolutely nothing. As you can see. The meter. Show it live. Turn off Missouri's. Turn on Thermodynes. This is only a small drill. I'll show you the readings on it. I can't see it. No, the camera just won't focus on it. Well, if you can see it, it's just over my finger.
That's his 980 revolutions per minute. Right. Keep it on here a bit, man. Try and zoom it in and see. 980 revolutions a minute, see it? Like that. So there you go, guys. I've tried everything to fix this. Everything. It wobbles. It's unbalanced. It loses magnetic flux. flux sorry. There's no power out of it. And how to fix it. This is the machine you want. Turbodynes. Okay, that's it, guys. That's my little bench test for you. So if anyone to ask any, there's no cheating. Switch. Three tails. Out in three tails. See it? Out in here. And that goes down to that meter. And it's the same as well, the same as the turbodynes. So make up your own minds. To stay away from Missouri. Over and out, guys. Thank you for listening and watching. And I hope it gives you some sort of idea which turbodyne. Oh, sorry, not turbine. Which turbine to purchase?